Hi, this is Aaron Noble from Belimo Technical Support. I'm going to talk to you today about creating a piping package in Select Pro. So the screen you see here, I've already got a uh, characterized control valve selected. Um, so once you add it to a schedule, you're going to see in the far right hand side that there's going to be a link to get you into the piping package module. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. It brings me into the piping package module. Now you're going to see up at the top, it gives you pictures of the components. It's going to give you some definitions that are handy when you're selecting uh, as to uh, what the tail side versus the body side is. Um, and then you're going to see here that uh, it's already pre-filled out the type of valve, the valve model, the valve size. Um, you're going to see you have a selection for a return package, which is the most common, our supply side, the runout pipe size, if extension components are required. Now this is for, let's say if you have a chilled water valve that's going to be insulated, this, this gives extensions to the pressure temperature ports, so it'll clear the insulation. Then you're going to see a field for the coil side and for a pressure dependent valve, it's going to have a manual balance valve. It gives you the field for your design flow rate. So I'm going to select three quarter inch runouts, three quarter inch coil size. To say that this is five GPM. Now I'm going to go ahead and select my union body end. PT ports are standard, so I'm going to leave that alone. You're going to see under the body end that we have um, options for female MPT, male MPT, press fit and sweat. I'm going to say female MPT. Now the tail end, it's going to always going to be uh, male MPT, the size of the valve, because you'll see here this is the end that goes into the valve. Okay, on the manual balance valve, we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to do three quarter inch female MPT. Same thing, the tail end stays the same because it goes in on this side of the valve. Now on the supply side, we have options for strainer and isolation valve. The standard kit will have a strainer. Again, the PT ports are default. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to say a three-quarter inch female MPT for both ends. Now, when you when you put in your selection on the one side, it's going to put the male MPT on the other side. It's just standard. Uh, you can change that to whatever you need it to be. Next is the hoses option. So I'm going to select hoses. You can, you can choose to not have hoses. And I'm going to select 12 inch length. Now you're going to see here, as you're, as you're adding components, it adds them to the diagram. So this is basically what it's going to look like. Now when you're done, you can click add to schedule. And there you go, that is a piping package. Now let me show you another option for selecting your piping package components. So what we're doing now is just the components only. And with this method, you can you can pick as, as many or as little components as you need. You're just going to go from left to right. Uh, let's say here the isolation valve. I'll do extensions. I'm going to do you know, let, let's say uh, one inch female MPT into a three quarter inch valve. I'm going to do a manual balance valve again you know, with extensions. I'm going to say one inch female MPT to match into a three quarter inch valve. Now you're going to have a drop down menu for your, your GPM range. Pick that. 
gonna pick Union. Same thing with extensions. Rich female MPT. Lynch male MPT. Click add to schedule and you're good to go. Now here's a good good thing to to notice. Whenever you go and select things that are non-standard, in this case, the extensions, you're going to have a pop-up. And just what that means is there's going to be a longer lead time. So there's no problem with that. You can just click OK and you're done. And that's how you select the uh, components only.